Hey guys, uh, just coming at you here from my hometown of uh, Conwell, Oklahoma. Just taking a break from the holidays for a few minutes to uh, to get this video out to you guys. Uh, Going to go over some some of that stuff for the the program coming up real quickly. Um, behind me here, this is the uh, inside of the shed, uh, basically that I grew up lifting in. I actually started in in my my parents' uh, carport, lifted in there for the first year, and then I lifted here. Um, in, in this shed for another year uh, after that before I kind of moved off and started doing my own thing. So always brings back a lot of memories. You know, this is basically uh, where it all started. So I'm excited to be uh, inside of the shed, um, you know, talking to you guys about weightlifting. And um, you probably hear the, the rain coming down. It's uh, about to pick up and storm uh, here where we're at a little bit. So bear with me. Hopefully you can you can hear me okay and we'll, we'll make it through this video uh, this week. But uh, Week 7 of 14, so the end of this week obviously will be the halfway point. Uh, again, leading into this program has been written to lead into and to peak for our uh, Von Weyleting Oki, Oki Open uh, that's going to be held um, you know, right here in, in Oklahoma, obviously in um, uh, Edmond, Oklahoma. And uh, hopefully uh, some of you guys out there on the program will, that, that are in this area will, will be there and, and uh, let us know if you're going. You know, we'd love to, to watch anybody that's on the program live. Um, obviously, if, you know, as normal, if you're not, um, you know, in the area or you don't have a competition to go to, no big deal. The, the program is still there to help you, you know, progress and, and get better at the Olympic lifts in general. So week seven of 14, I've uh, been doing a lot of different stuff with the squats, been kind of you know, going up and down, playing with different reps and, and that kind of thing. Going to get into more of what I would call a consistent squat program starting this next week. So this next week is an introduction to that squat program. So we still have a little bit of recovering to do from all the work that you've done through the last six weeks up to this point. Um, you're going to be doing uh, six sets of two at the beginning of the week and then another six sets of two uh, at the end of the week. Being, beginning of the week will be back squats. That day will stay pretty consistent for a while. Um, we've got 75% for this week that will go up to as much as 80%. We'll kind of, you know, add and take away some pausing in there. Um, on the second day with the front squats, this week we'll start with six sets of two at 80%, and then you will be progressing the reps up by one each week. So six sets of three, uh, the following week, six sets of four, five, and then uh, six, and then we'll, we'll move on to something else after that. But you know, a uh, squat program that I've used many times in, in, you know, slightly different ways, but the basic concept of raising reps up each week, one rep up each week, is one of the basic uh, concepts of how you get stronger. So you can do it in a couple ways. One way is that you can raise the weight up slightly each week with the same amount of reps, uh, or you can uh, raise the reps up slightly. And so that's what we're going to focus on um, for a little while now. So be on the lookout for that. And... Um, and we'll get we'll get through it. I know that you guys will, will benefit from that. New exercise this week is going to be a jerk dip. You guys have been doing a lot of wall dips. So in place of those wall dips, what we've been leading into are jerk dips. So jerk dips are going to be with a bar in your front rack. I have an indicated percentage on that. But it, you know, as with any movement that's new and that you're not sure of, uh, one, watch the video, read the descriptions, read the details. Make sure you video yourself and have someone watching you and making sure that you're hitting the, the correct positions. Jerk dip, the big thing here is that we want um, you to be relaxed in your standing position, two seconds down. So as you dip down, one, two, hold it in that bottom, at the bottom of, the, of your dip for two seconds, one, two, and then stand slowly. So we're not trying to mimic any speed or power coming up, but uh, just trying to reinforce and strengthen that uh, jerk dip position. All right, so be on the lookout for that as well. Uh, overhead quarter squats, so that's where you're in the rack, watch the video, uh, but you're going to set that bar somewhere uh, at the top of the head or uh, mid forehead height, um, and you'll, you'll see it on the video, but I just want to make sure that you're paying, atten paying attention to what you're doing there, uh, watch the video, read the description, and understand the difference in am I ready to use this as an uh, overload, which is what the way that the, the uh, exercise is written and what it's meant for, or do I need to back down and wait, uh, or even completely take the exercise away and replace it with some overhead mobility. So if this is the best position that you can create with that heavy weight overhead, then that's what you're going to uh, reinforce. We want to make sure that you're in a quality position. That bar directly over the top of your head, your body in a straight line, 
your elbows are locked out as much as you can get them locked out. Um, and if you can't, then don't force it. You know, we don't want to reinforce uh, that partial position, that muscle position. So, you know, replace it with some mobility that's meaningful to you. We've done a lot of overhead mobility type stuff that you could easily swap that uh, out with, but do something that will help uh, you um, get to the point to where you can hold heavier overload weights uh, with a quality, quality position overhead. All right, any questions on that? Or if you need any help, making any adjustments or recommendations, then uh, let us know. Snatches and cleans this week are, are gonna be a little bit lighter, uh, jerks as well. So it's kind of a, you know, obviously a little bit of a back off week. And one thing that we're backing off from, like I mentioned, are the squats, but kind of the whole package, we need to kind of, you know, in, uh, intro you into a few different things. One thing is a squat program. And a lot of times that's gonna go with most everything being backed off a little bit. You are going to have an opportunity to go a little heavier in the snatch, though. At the end of the week, you'll be doing a snatch plus a hang snatch kind of as a warm-up, and you'll have five singles to basically do whatever you want. If you're feeling good, go after it. You know, it's by feel. There's no uh, limitation on, there's no range or limitation on the, on the weights. As long as it feels good, as long as it looks good, you're doing it with quality, then go up as much as you want. You don't have to go heavy. Use those five reps to stay lighter if you need to, if, if that's what your body is telling you to do. Um, but other than that, guys, um, I'm going to, you know, get off here and let you guys get back to, uh, back to your, your families. I'm sure you guys are, are hanging out. Uh, happy holidays to you guys. And we'll be back at you, uh, next week for week eight of 14 at the Kilo Cave. Until then.